What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the Formula One short film that night in Abu Dhabi. Oh my god, I just finished season four of Formula One Drive to Survive with Max and Lewis were literally coming down to the wire. They went into that last race completely tied up. That was absolutely insane. Abs in the last race? Pure insanity. Pure craziness. I see what they say. You know what I mean? They say to win, you got to have a wheel. You got to have a skill. You got to be hardworking. You got to be determined. But at the end of the day, you need a little bit of luck a little bit of luck that it was the craziest ending bro but that's the kind of stuff that like know what i'm saying that had people like tuned in the whole season that had people excited the whole season a true rivalry a true coming down to the wire a true one race winner takes all that's the kind of stuff, as a sports fan, you like seeing your hearts beating out of your chest. You're scared. You're excited. You're nervous. You're, you're, hand, you're not even racing. Max, you weren't racing, but if you're a fan, you're sweating. You're, you're glued to the TV. Or if you're in the stands, you're like, your emotions are going up and down. That's the stuff, as a sports fan, bro. That's, that's that high that, I don't know, that, that you hate going through it. But if it comes out and you win, like, greatest moment comes out and you lose absolutely heartbreaking but that is the stuff that fans want to see that is the stuff that get ratings to shoot through the roof we gonna jump in the video i'm sorry i went through that long thing but uh <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel read notification bell get a video a thumbs up let's see a recap of that I, when i after i finished the episode i said i gotta react to it i gotta see a little recap and so here we are with a short film about it what we got Lewis, if you win on Sunday, it will be your record-breaking eighth title. Max, eighth if you title. win, it will be your first. Oh my God, you Max couldn't rip the script any better. Always on it, always on, on the top of his form. That's where that. Lewis seems to be a little bit tired at times. Uh, the the saving grace for uh, is that Joss or is that not Joss? and Lewis is they don't pay a high price for mistakes. You cannot forget that uh, Lewis had that uh, opportunity to beat Michael. Well, he's already the top of the top, but maybe the top of the top of the top. And I think that's very important for him to win this championship. But Max, he's trying everything he can. I think the first title is something that uh, uh, is the most important one. Because yes. the first, I mean, is just uh, put your name on the, on, the, on the page. A lot has been made about how the championship may or may not be won this weekend. Do you have any concerns that it may not be won fairly? Honestly, I just don't give it any energy. Um, I'm here to do the best job I can with this incredible team. We never thought that we would be neck and neck going into the last race. Naturally, the media starts to say these things, you know, so, yeah, I don't really have a lot more to comment on that. I think I arrived here just trying to do the best I can, trying to be the best prepared and, and of course, naturally trying to, to win this weekend. I'm here to, to do my job and I don't want to see the stewards um, anymore that they want to see me, so. Man, you, I'm telling you, you couldn't have written the script any better. You got Lewis Hamilton, seven-time champion. That's absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. Tied with Michael Schumacher. Schumacher. Mocker. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. He wins this eight title. Breaks a record. I, does that right give them the most driver titles in F1 history? Ooh, it's hard. It's hard. You know, but you got Max Verstappen. He was destined for green. He, he was made to be an F1 champion. Father and mother both raced. Been in a go kart three or four years old. He was. You know what I'm saying? And I say he was destined for this moment, but it wasn't like it wasn't like a lot of. Years of tears, hard work, sweat, everything put into this. And like Lewis, you know what I'm saying? A lot of tears, years of hard work and everything put into this. And this is, oh, this is the guy on top. The lion. The, the top. 
And this is the young bull coming for that spot. Hungry. The only one who can look in a lion's eyes and challenge that lion. This is ah, uh, this is Ali Frazier. This, this is special. Absolute. This is Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. This oh my god. Alright, we're gonna keep we gonna keep the video going, bro. I it, they just bro, like that that one episode made me I was already becoming an L4 fan, but that one episode, bro. I I was just I loved it. I absolutely loved it. That whole season actually. Expect that one, but amazing job, guys. <laughs> Crazy. We've pushed the limits, we've pushed each other, we've pushed our competitors, and I think, you know, here we are at the final race for the showdown. It's all in for this Sunday, and whoever wins deserves to win. The eyes of the world look to the conclusion to Hamilton versus Verstappen in 2021. Two of the greatest drivers this sport has ever seen are ready to put it all on the line for the ultimate prize in motorsport. All eyes now focused on the grid. The talking eventually has to stop. The wheels start to rotate and then it is game on. Crazy. Oh my God, bro. It's lights out, away we go, and Hamilton gets a decent start, and he's already ahead of Max Verstappen. Hamilton leads into the first corner. There's three abreast going into the turn nine hairpin. Oh, and there, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen is as a... Like, I see why people were talking about, like, he's an aggressive driver, bro, as I watched... Like, Max, and I don't hate him for it. I don't blame him for it. Max is a winner, bro. You can, and Max don't give a F. Like, you know what I'm saying? Max is going to be aggressive, and that's just the way that he drives. That's just his style. He's not going to give you an inch. He's not going to back down. If he sees a crash coming, it's like, well, then we're both just going to crash. If you don't give me this line... We're both just going to crash. You know what I'm saying? And so I do rock with that. And Lewis, bro, Lewis is just absolutely special. Bro. And I know that Mercedes car was absolutely crazy. It was absolutely. But Lewis, to win seven times, going to be tired, going for an eighth one, bro, that's special. That You have to be such an incredible driver to be able to pull that off. Almost coming together. Hamilton has to go off the track. The Dutch fans roaring in the background. Yes, he gets that back. Yeah. I, I understand he did, didn't look like Max. Like he didn't have nowhere to go but off the track. But but whenever Max goes off the track and then gets in front, they always make Max give the position back. They always make him give it back. Every single time. But it seemed like, you know what I'm saying? All they said was get rid of the gap. He didn't have to, Lewis didn't have to get it. So I didn't like seeing that. When I was watching, I was like, that's bull crap. My guy, he, every time he does that, he's penalized for it. But it just didn't seem fair that he didn't have to get that position back. Two of the gaps that he reinstated. Well, we'll wait to hear from Michael Massey. All eyes on the message board here in our commentary box. And what about the stewards? Are they going to get involved? 58 laps to run. And already on the first lap, the two championship rivals collide. No investigation necessary, say the stewards. Investigation on the shortcuts or the advantages that he's gained in terms of gaps. That is incredible. What are they doing here? Go ahead, Jonathan. It was, it was ahead ridiculous. Of the apex. It was ridiculous. Jonathan is on the track. Jonathan, he's forced him out there. That's why we asked him to give back Lewis all of the advantage. Lewis has left the track and oh, you told him to give back all the advantage. All the advantage was already given back prior to the first lap ending. He did get forced out. I will give that to Lewis. He did get forced out there. But sometimes it seemed like Max was forced out and and they made him get the ball. Oh, I'm not sure we agree, but understood. Okay, we'll be looking to hold up Lewis. I think we're supposed to do that. So the regulations say a Formula 1 car must not be any wider than two metres. <laughs> How wide do you think Sergio Perez can make that red ball at the moment then? <laughs> this could be checkmate for Lewis Hamilton, who's trying to get... 
get past the Honda Power driver. How tight is he going to push it? As tight as he can. Uh. He's gone to the inside. Will Perez throw it back? He will. Will Hamilton be aware? Yes, he is. And look at this. Defensive Crazy. tactics. This time Crazy. he stays on the racetrack. Hamilton gets the power down and Hamilton gets the race lead back. Perez tried to hold him up, but it's not been by enough. Hamilton saw it coming. And Perez is going to risk it. He's gone to the inside. And Hamilton has to give it back. The problem yeah. that Sergio Perez is causing Hamilton is enormous here. Perez paying back the team for all of the faith that they showed in him to give him another. He's basically not driving off the corner here. Come on. Bro. Come on. This is ex Bro, let me just say Sergio Perez, legend. Check out legendary. Bro. He was he was defending his butt off. He was trying to hold, he was trying to give Max all the time in the world to get back in the race. And he was defending his butt off to hold Lewis back, man. He was giving it everything he got, he had. And the, bro, he did an excellent job. He did a superb job. You got to give him credit. You got to give him credit for what he was able to do in this race, man. Uh, he, bought, he bought Max a good amount of time doing this. Yeah, this is kicking off, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really big time because they're furious with the move on the first lap. Mike, it's a bit dangerous, can you? Blonde them. So, so far, they're racing. So, I don't hard racing. Perez and Hamilton in the 134s and the 133s. The gap now coming down between Verstappen and Hamilton. You can see him right in the background. Hamilton needs to get past Perez here. He does get past Perez. He moves towards the inside. He's going to force Perez the long way round if Perez is going to try and retake that uh, lead of the race. But on lap 21, Hamilton does get past Perez. But Perez has played the ultimate team game and he's really brought his teammate back into play. And he can give his teammate a bit of DRS for good measure. So great team play. That's the team play we talked about earlier on. Now he gets clean out of the way. Oh, Checo is a legend. Absolute animal. Red Bull are looking for something beyond their control to try and help bring them back into this yes. race. Lewis Hamilton on course to become champion. Well, Lewis was gone. At that point, bro, Lewis was gone. Max was not catching Lewis at that point, bro. Like, Max is as great as he is, bro. Lewis was gone. There was no chance of him coming back. At this point in the race, if you're a Max Verstappen fan, bro, you're putting your head in your hands. You're, you're, you're sad. You're, you know, you see it coming. You see the gap widening. You see that, that, that there's no coming back, that it's over, that Lewis is going to run away with his eighth championship. If you're a Lewis Hamilton fan, you're starting to celebrate. You're getting happy. You're, you know what I'm saying? You're you're going crazy. You're you're excited. But let it keep rolling. You know the pace of the Mercedes is just too strong today. So with your yeah, Max is driving his heart down there, but uh, we're going to need a miracle in these last uh, ten laps to to turn it around. So uh, he'll give it everything, but um, you know the clock's ticking. Copy, copy. Oh no, Nicholas Latifi has. I think that was lap 52, bro. I believe that was lap 52. If you're a Max fan and you see this crash happen, you hope Latifi's okay, of course. But oh my, this is the greatest day. You're excited. This is the greatest day that could have ever happened. This is when I say you need a little bit of luck. This is here's the luck. If you are a Lewis Hamilton fan and you see this crash happen, you are devastated. You are in shock. You were just ready to celebrate your butt off if this happens, bro. Pure pain, pure frustration, pure nerves running through your body now. Crash, that will be a safety car. That's a safety car because they'll not be able to recover that. And we've got a completely different situation. So have a double yellow, turn 40, entering it now, stay left. 
Stay left, staying out, staying out. Will we get any more racing laps or not? What jeopardy at the end of this Grand Prix, the end of this World Championship. Max, there's a yellow flag at turn 14. Latif is completely in the middle of the road, debris all over the shop. So it's track mode one, track mode one. Box. Negative. And Max coming into the pits, in. Max Verstappen. Hamilton stays out. Verstappen coming into the pits. Hamilton's a long way clear on the track, but I rather get the feeling by the time he comes around to the main straight, he's not going to be able to pit and stay ahead of Max Verstappen. Oh, uh, many laps for Danny. Uh, there's four laps, including this one. Four laps. Uh, this back marker seems to get out of the way. They should have left themselves. Yeah, they will once that message comes through. What's the situation behind So, the situation is that Verstappen has pitted. He had a free pit stop. We would have lost track position to him. Four laps remaining, or when you cross the line, it may not restart. Is he right behind me? He will be, once they've sorted out all the order. This is going to take a while to sort out. With new tyres. God dang. Copy loose. We would have lost track position if we had pitted and lapped cars will not be allowed to overtake. Which leaves Verstappen with a lot of work to do then. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, when you hear that, once it, because I got to give it from both perspectives, as a Max Verstappen fan, lap cars can't overtake, but in this situation, they usually are always to unlap themselves. You hear that and you're like, that's bull crap. That's BS. This is in any other situation, they're letting them overtake. They're letting all the lap cars overtake and unlap themselves. At this point, you hear that and you're feeling like they're giving this to Lewis. They're wrapping this championship up for him. As a Lewis fan, you're absolutely loving it. Lap cars can't overtake, right? He's already got such a big lead on Max. It's not fair if Max gets to come right back. You know what I'm saying? And Max gets to be right behind him. Max should have to work past all those lap cars. That's what Lewis fans say. You, you, and, and once again, you're feeling good, right? You're like, they, this is justice. This is the right thing to do. This is, you know what I'm saying? Let's get, let's get back to celebrate. But let it roll. Okay, so stay on the line, Max. Those lap cars are now being allowed to overtake. They are allowed to overtake. Off the racing line. I'm not, sorry, cancel that. Lap cars will not be allowed to overtake. Oh, they're not. Yeah, of course. Typical decision. It's classic. Oh, that's surprise. <laughs> I'm not. Max always feel like he get the. They been feel like he get the short end of the stick every time. They are not allowed to overtake. Of course. Of course they do this to me again. Of course they make this. To Any other time, if they, if I was in the front position, they're gonna allow me to overtake. This is bullcrap. That's how my boy Max feeling right now. <laughs> Christian and Michael. Yes, go ahead, Christian. Yeah, why, why, why aren't we getting these lap cars out of the way? Just give me, well, because Christian, just give me a second. Okay, my main big one is to get this uh, incident clear. You only need one racing lap. Lap cars, mate, will, will now overtake. What is going? Lap cars can overtake. Now you got that young bull, Lewis. You got that hungry bull who wants this desperately. Who's on fresh tires because he was allowed to pit and you couldn't or you would have lost your position on the on, on the track. Ah, and now he's about to be right behind you instead of that big gap that you have between them. It's all gone. You have to hold this young bull off with your older tires now. Jesus. Lewis fan, hated, frustrated. Had Max fan, the miracle that that was needed. This is absolute miracle. This is the hope that you needed. Now you're in front of the TV. Your head's out of your hands. Your heart, your heart's racing. You know Max has fresher tires. This is his chance. Oh my God! Let it on. Uh, so Norris and Alonso and Ocon and Leclerc and Vettel to and overtake it's ending. it. And it's, it's ending. Wow! But only the five cars that are in between Lewis and Max got to unlap themselves.
Everybody else, stay where you are. I understand why F1 did it, right? Oh my God, this is gonna end up, this could be one of the greatest endings in F1 history. Like this right here is the dog fight. This is perfect. This is everything that we needed. Oh, but as a Lewis fan, you're like that, like if you're gonna unlap the cars, let everybody unlap. It's bullcrap to just let the five cars are splitting between them unlap. If you're a Max fan, you're like, great call. Those, those other cars can stay back there. This is mano a mano. This is one on one. This is for all the marvels. I think all the cars ahead of you are going to pass Hamilton. Uh, everybody behind you will stay in position. The safety car is in this lap, Max. No, Mikey, no, no, Mikey, that was so not right. This is unbelievable. This is incredible. If you've never watched Formula One before, if this is the day that you're watching, it's never normally like this. Max Verstappen is almost overtaking Lewis Hamilton. I this swear is to God. barely believable. Bro, Max was not. A <laughs> He knew when they was ready to go, he was going to be right on. Look, he's side by side. He just let them get like an inch in front of him. That's all you get. All you get is an inch. You work, technically, you're still in front of me, but God dang, that's all you get is that inch. This is it. This is it. We're going to have one lap of racing to decide the championship. Hamilton has the advantage. Verstappen has. seen in my life bro this moment right here ah oh. oh my god if you're a max fan bro you're literally you don't care about noise complaints from the neighbors you don't care none of you're throwing a parade there's a parade in the inside the country inside the city there's there's you're going crazy tonight there's riots tonight there's you're going you're going insane we're popping bottles we're getting wasted I call, go ahead and call work in. Tell them I'm not going to be in the, morning, in the morning because I'm losing my mind tonight. Max just won the world championship. Miracles happened. Miracles happened. Little luck happened. If you are a Lewis fan, you are heartbroken. You're devastated. Lewis is a seven-time champion, arguably one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport. But this eighth one was going to make that debate almost non-debatable. This eighth one was going to put him into a class of his own. 
a class that no one's ever accomplished. This was the one that, that was going to take him from arguably the best driver to almost just unarguably, undebatably the best driver. This was special. And you felt like it was stolen. You feel like he was robbed. There was an injustice tonight. Max did not win this fair and square. This was some BS. Ah, uh, there has to be a winner. There has to be a loser. But I think some guy said it in the show. The true winner of this race was F1. Was Formula One. Uh, but dang. Dang, dang, dang. This is crazy. Speechless, Lewis. Absolutely speechless. You need to reinstate the lap before. That's not right. Toto? Yes. It's called a motor race, okay? Sorry? We went to car racing. A big congratulations to Max and to his team. Um, I think we did an amazing job this whole year. It's been uh, the, the most difficult of seasons. And um, this last part of the season, we gave it absolutely everything. And uh, we never gave up. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, we'll see you about next year. It, it just means a lot. I mean, it's my life. You know, once you achieve your life goal, your life mission, it's just something truly incredible. But also not only for me, but for my whole family, because they also had to live for me because my dad was away a lot, it probably cost the marriage. And also my sister, you know, uh, she missed me, she missed her dad, because my dad was always with me. So all of this now, it, you know, this hasn't been for nothing. And that's something I, which is very special. Those are just the moments that, that, that make sports truly phenomenal. That, oh my God, bro. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.